Hey, guys, sorry for taking a little break from YouTube, I should get back to regular uploads soon, also please like and subscribe, thanks. Level 58 resembles a house in the the front rooms. This house, commonly referred to as Gasper House, is enclosed by 3.5 m high walls with a total area of 18 square meters. The perimeter of the building is divided into three equal parallel strips, the middle one being the only roofed one. This strip encompasses all the rooms located in the level, room 1, 2, and the central room. The other two strips are where both outdoor areas are located. The first outdoor area includes a white front door, similar to the other doors in the level, and a garage door, which perfectly matches the wall's appearance, making it seem like it's not even there. The second outdoor area is where the level's pool is located. Small walkways lead to empty areas where direct access to rooms 1 and 2 can found. Both outdoor areas contain two small trees, which once hitting a certain height, vanish until a new sapling is planted by the level itself. Level 58 has many different properties that make it more than just an uncanny home. The outdoor sunlight, for example, has been proven to cause hallucinations, supposedly caused by low sanity levels wanderers experience when exposed to it. Although proven, not much is known about what causes such sanity drops, as most instances of this have not gone through proper research protocols in order to yield reliable scientific conclusions. MEG missions to level 58 have shown little to no interest in exploring the sunlight and house's properties, which explains the lack of publicly available knowledge on it. Level 58's pool contains noticeable characteristics. The pool is in fact filled with almond water, which at first would seem to cancel out the sanity effects caused by the sunlight, but after further inspection, one will notice this precious liquid is unbearable for safe human consumption due to its scorching hot temperatures of over 140 degrees Celsius, which instantly upon contact, may cause fourth-degree burns. Further exposure to the liquid may lead to more severe burns and even casualties. The pool seems to only go one meter in depth, but the liquid volume it may store is seemingly infinite. Randomly, the almond water may, all of the sudden, vanish just like the trees. The water will start slowly rising back up at normal temperatures, safe for consumption, however this will increase proportionally to the liquid's level. The central room is where one initially find themselves after entering level 58. This area is one of the safest in the level, as wanderers here do not experience the effects of this level's sunlight. In this room, bottled almond water can be found in abundance on top of the tables and coffee table. This level's high-quality Wi-Fi source seemingly comes from here. The central room is enclosed by white-painted walls, which match the rest of the room's furniture. The room contains a small TV with no power source, a powerless modern stand lamp, a wooden coffee table, a sofa which can hold up to three people, a contemporary wooden seat with foams, two dining tables and two white bookshelves. This room's only interesting property is its hydrophobic sofa which cannot be stained. Room 1 is one of the two smaller rooms located in the central strip of the house. This room is connected to the central room as well as the outdoor areas. This room does not appear to have any properties worth mentioning. The room is filled with furniture that for once is not colored white. Here, wanderers may find tools and supplies scattered around. The room has a black sofa that can hold two people, two regular seats, a wooden coffee table, a black tube TV on top of a white table, another stand lamp, and non-hang painting, a globe from the front rooms with no country labels and two white bookshelves. This room, just like room 2, has two windows that expose the outdoor areas. These windows are equipped with curtains that prevent sunlight from entering the room. The TV in room 1 actually turns on, however, once activated, one must enter a four-number key code using the TV controller to proceed. The TV password, as well as what exactly happens after inserting it, remains unknown. This room is also connected to a working bathroom where supplies can also be found. Room 2 the second one of the two smaller rooms located in the central strip of the house. Room 2 consists of a bedroom containing a full-size white bed and two wooden seats. Oddly enough, just like room 1, this room also contains two white bookshelves, 
One of them, just like the other bookshelves in the level, is filled to the brim with various books, however, the other bookshelf is populated by a solo book, wanting, liminal space, written by multiple authors under the center for action and contemplation. The only known property of this book is its inability to be stolen. Once taken from its original spawn point at the bookshelf, one will have 10 minutes until the book is teleported back to its original place. Exiting this level with the book will make it vanish from your inventory, back to the bookshelf. The outside resembles a seemingly infinite landscape surrounded by trees and distant mountains. One may access this location by going through the house's front door. Staying here for too long, however, is unfeasible, as wandering too far here will eventually lead one will into level 372. One of this section's main characteristics is the absence of the sunlight effect present in the other locations of the level. Unfortunately, very little is known about the outside. Due to the small finite size and nature of this level, colonies and outposts are unable to be established.